Hi, thanks for staying tuned to STL Live. I'm Jay Hollinger, and I'd like to welcome with me author Laveau White. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show today. Thank welcome you. to the set. Thank you. Good. Um, first of all, uh, local local author. Yes. I'm okay, St. Louis area. Born and bred. Okay, so you all right? So you're familiar with the area then? Absolutely. All right, all right. Um, so if I'm correct, former musician. A former singer, songwriter, yes, absolutely. Okay, and now into authoring books. Yes. Okay, so tell me about your books. Um, well, the first two are Ratchet to Righteous. It's um, uh, two urban fiction novels, uh, part one and part two. They are basically an urban story about two sisters. One is pretty much what the urban <laughs> spectrum would call Ratchet or <laughs> <laughs> more in the streets and doing her own thing and the other sister is uh, in church and she's um, saving herself for marriage and their their differences and just how one woman evolves to become a better person and it's it's a very interesting tale trust me and it's based in St. Louis area Oh wow! Um, and then the the third book is called Epiphany Reigns It's actually an ur not urban fiction I'm sorry historic fiction and it's based in Missouri. I had to do quite a lot of research to do this book because it starts in the year 1842. Oh, wow. And it actually flashes to the present day. So a lot of years to cover there. It is. <laughs> and it's about um, a woman named Epiphany and her great, great, great granddaughter, who actually is her namesake, and looks quite similar to her as well. So it, it was a lot of research, but the story was... Um, it was enlightening for me even to write and it's 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 interesting and, and a lot of gotten a lot of very good feedback from it wow okay all right well uh how, how long have you been writing writing in whole a we'll long say, well, time writing yeah okay all the right. books i wrote my first three books since last january wow yes and i'm working on my fourth right now which is um biography actually so it's another genre of book so it, it's uh, about a woman that is from st louis as well and her story is extremely riveting, so it's I can't wait for that. Okay, so it looks like you, you don't even stick to one style, then you kind of like to whatever hits you or what, whatever is um, in, inspirational at the moment. Is that yeah, how you kind of? Absolutely. As long as I can find a way to glorify God, I make it happen. Okay. All right. So either through music or now through books. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, so I guess we just kind of kind of touched on that, but do you, do you have a do you have a favorite genre of book that you either like to read and or write? Do you have something that kind of pulls you a little more in one Not direction? Not really. I, um, to read, I really, I'm into, um, other than the urban fiction, I'm into more sci-fi. Oh, okay. Uh, crazy. I, I kind of like vampires, even though I know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. And, um, but I'm, um, more, as long as, as I fi I'm fi able to find a way to put something spiritual in my books, it doesn't really matter the genre. So far, the historic fiction is actually my favorite thus far. The historical fiction, okay. Yes, the historical fiction was very, very fun to write. Wow, okay, yeah. all right. Uh, quick, how long does it take you, do you have an average, how long does it take you, does it, do they fit into an average about how long does it take to write? Does a certain style take it longer really than the depends. other? It really depends. It depends on... You have some maybe that come quick, and then some maybe that take a little longer. Like maybe it depends music. on how much. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So if I'm if I'm if if I'm on it and the storyline is there, I'm writing every day. Sometimes, like with the biography, it, that story is kind of still writing itself. So oh, okay. You know, I kind of pause and something will hit me, and then I'll write. But it seems that on average, maybe about three or four months for a book on average, because the first one took two months, the second took one month, the third one took about six months, so it just really depends. Okay, uh, I know in the music world, people, uh, they throw out these questions a lot, but do you have a favorite of your own so far, or have you yet to write your favorite? Have you, do you have any idea, you know, any thoughts on that? Epiphany but, Reigns would be my favorite right now. So far, that's, so that's far. your favorite one, that would be your number third, third book? Yes. Okay, and there's fourth one on the way? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, I play music myself, so I gotta, I gotta ask, ask you this though. Uh, do you have a, do you have a preference? Uh, what's, what's, a, what's the difference you see between music and writing music and performing music, and then also writing books? Is there, is there a difference? Is it similar? You know, if somebody was doing the same, what would you, what would you compare them? Or how would you compare? Well, them? definitely, it's a definite difference. Um, writing music and performing music, you're more on the forefront. So you're singing, you have to worry about getting in front of people and how you sound and whether or not they like the song. But with a book, you're more, with me, I'm able to 
commit to a storyline. I get to use my sure. imagination more so than the the bars of a song. Okay. And granted, they're both extremely rewarding because sure. I get to use my talent, I get to express myself, but with the book, it's a serious commitment. Okay. All you're right. not done with the book in 30 minutes. Right, sure. <laughs> All right, well, if you don't mind, stay with us. You're here for another segment. So uh, when we return on STL Live, we will uh, continue to chat more with author Laveau White. We'll be right back after this break. Thank you. 